Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alicia Elizabeth, and if you are a returning subscriber, I've missed you. If you are a new viewer, welcome. Um, I'm so happy that you're here, and per the usual, grab a snack, get comfortable. I think we're gonna be here for a few minutes, maybe a little bit, just, just a few minutes, not a long time. So, where have I been? That is a question that we do not have time for tonight. Do you hear me? It will take several videos to unpack where I have been, but let me just say this. 2022 has been marvelous. It's been so good to me. And if you were following my videos prior to me kind of going missing, um, I shared that 2021, and I, I want to say even 2020, was just like ghetto it was ghetto and it had gotten so ghetto that I was just like okay you know what I'm gonna take a break <laughs> I'm gonna take this break and I don't know so much if I completely decided to take a break or if just things had just gotten to be too busy and just too much stuff with too many moving parts that I just started to decide like certain things I couldn't keep up with um because YouTube while a lot of consistent vloggers may not share this it's a place that you have to have the energy to show up for, right? Depending on what it is you're doing, um, you need more energy than others. Like some people, they may just be modeling, they may just do outfits, but there is, you, your cup has to be a certain level of full because you are getting on camera and you wanna convey a message, not only with your words, but your energy comes through your camera, right? So if I'm like, hey guys, happy November 1st, you'd be like, what is wrong with her? Like. <laughs> Is she okay? Is somebody forced her to make this video? And I never want to feel like my cup is depleted and something I enjoy doing, such as recording or sharing or, you know, just, you know, encouraging people feels like a task. Um, to me, that's a great indicator of you need to cut the camera off and really sit down, you know, in your, in your space and just figure out what's going on. And it may take longer than the time you would like but take that time, right? So anyway, 2021 was ghetto. And it grabbed me by my ponytails. I believe I told y'all that and had me like a rag doll, <laughs> certain parts. And I was just like, okay, I just got to step back because I preached <laughs> authenticity with you all. And I shared with you all about vulnerability and honesty and all those things. And it was just too much. Now, of course, there is a part of me that's like, we have to learn to work through those seasons but I think the kind of material that I bring to you all it is to demonstrate right to practice what I preach preach what I practice that this this right here is only real we only doing real I don't want to give y'all no fluff I want y'all to if you ever meet me in person or run into me if you don't know me I want you to be like that feels like the same person I see all the time you know what I mean because some people when I'm getting off topic know how to turn it on and turn it off and you meet them in public and you're like you're weird I'm sorry if you're offended by the word weird but like let's say you're standoffish or you are not as nice it doesn't feel like your energy is really nice you know and I don't want that so what you get here is typically what you're going to get in person with me that's the people who know me can vouch for that excuse me so anyway I'm getting on topic 2022 was a great comeback <laughs> It has been, I don't even know if I have a word to describe 2022, but I thank God for it <laughs> and I'm happy to be here. Um, and I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to get back in this space. I'm ready to get back into a lot of spaces, which will lead me into today's topic. But let me explain to you all why we will unpack 2022 together over a series of videos. My sister which if I have time today, I will tag her name right here. If I don't have time, it's gonna be in the description box, okay? That's me being honest with y'all. If I don't have time to do all that special editing, it's gonna be in the description box. But if I got a little time on my side, I'm gonna tag her Instagram handle right here. Challenged me to post a video every day. And if I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I was like, do I wanna come out of my peaceful bubble and get back on YouTube? Get back on social media in general. I was really like, mm, 2023 I'll get back online but after thinking long and hard about it I said you know what challenge accepted because I do not believe 
that when it comes to your gifts, if you don't use them, you'll lose them. But I do believe that when they are not used, they get rusty and you can tell. You can always tell when somebody hasn't done something in a while because those initial videos, songs, whatever they are good at, it's kind of like, ooh, you got a little dust enough to do. And so the everyday challenge was so good to me because I was like, you know what? I really enjoy making videos. I do believe that I've been called to empower, equip, and encourage. I've said that on here before as well. And I've realized I've kind of taken a back seat on doing all of that to get myself together. But you're still responsible for the things God has called you to, no matter what. You can't get out of it. You can't get out of it. And so I will be posting a video every day, Lord willing, of this month. And I'm stating that because for my new viewers and my returning viewers, you're going to be like, whoa, how you go missing and all of a sudden you on video every day? That's why. So I'm hoping that you have missed my content enough that as I post every day and as I get a routine going and as I figure out what things I really want to talk about and as I figure out what I want to show you that you are down for the ride because I'm just excited to be back in this space dusting off, you know, the things that I was once using and mastering and just getting back into the swing of things. And I'm inviting you to journey along with me. And so today's encouragement that I need it first, that I'm now sharing with you is that you can always be a day one expert. And so I went for a walk today and I'm like, God, day one expert, that's an oxymoron. Like, how are you going to be a day one at something and an expert? And the more I was thinking about it, I'm like, this is the problem that we have as people. We feel like we reach a place of expertise and when we don't maintain it and we, you know, fall down or we're knocked down or life comes at us fast, Dang, I can't believe I'm at day one again. I cannot believe I'm here after all of that work, after all of that learning, after all of that progress. And so you spend so much time harping on how far back you've fallen that you don't get back on the bank, like you don't get back on the wagon, right? You don't you don't even make progress anymore because you are only discussing your rookie years or your previous successes. But if we took on the mindset of I will forever be a day one expert. Think about how you approach things your first day, right? So whether it was your first job, your first day in marriage, your first day in your relationship, your first day in your friendships, your first day in your new apartment, you were open-minded, you were excited, you were thankful, you were, uh, the momentum was there, um, the, the willingness to learn and research was there. And it allowed you to get that momentum going and to maintain it because you were still in that honeymoon stage, right? That day one, day two, day three. I'm so excited. I pray for this. I'm grateful for this. But what would happen if we were forever a day one expert? What would happen if we took on the mindset that, God, I have so many tools in my back, right? I have so many tools in my box, excuse me, and so much experience and so much progress that I can recall and count on, um, but I'm still a learner. I still have so much to learn. I still have new methods to learn and apply. I still am lacking certain tools. I still have people I need to meet. There are still people who, even at the entry level, I'm calling it entry level, um, would benefit me to connect with now because of where they're going. What would happen if we were welcoming and open to always being a day one expert how fast will we get back on the wagon when we've fallen off how much grace will we provide ourselves with when you know we didn't have a successful day to day you know when it comes to our goals because we're like I'm an expert enough to know that there are ways to get to the finish line but I am a day one person enough to know that I still can research I still can ask for help I still can be innovative I still can be inspired I still can talk to people at this level like what would happen if we were a day one expert and so I say to you what I needed in coming back and thank you um, to my sister for this challenge but also my friends you all know who you are who have asked me where's your videos where's your blogs where's your content I've been looking for you because sometimes we can focus on how long it's been and how far off we've fallen and I'm not saying fallen isn't like you know you've just been knocked down but just you know, time, it's like one day, then one week, then one month, then one year. And you're like, oh my God, I'm like behind the ball. And it's like, no, you're not. You're not behind the ball. The gift is still in you. It's still in you. It's still yours. 
everything is waiting on you. Even though life is still moving forward, your contribution, your gift, your thought process, your talents, it's waiting on you. And so I say to you, what I needed today for myself is let's take on the mindset of being a day one expert every day. Every day I'm gonna wake up, even if I'm on day 55 of vlogging, I'm gonna be like, wow, there's a new way I can transition into my videos. Wow, there's a new song I can put in the background. Wow, there's a new angle that I can give them. Wow, it's a new camera I can get. Wow, there are new cameras and lights that I can purchase. Wow, there's someone else I can ask for help. Because when we don't see ourselves as just an expert, but instead a day one expert, we are always teachable. And we're always choosing to be optimistic and excited and feeling like this is the beginning of an amazing opportunity. And we're never in a place of um, plateauing, growing bored, um, above this level of learning, um, unsatisfied amongst other things. Um, you know, you get where I'm going? So I encourage you, if you're watching this video, to get back on the wagon of whatever you were called to do. Get back on that horse, get back on that journey and feel good about it. You don't owe anybody an explanation. And I say that with love, not like you don't owe nobody an explanation, but it's just like, because life, the ebbs and flow, like this was another thing I was thinking about when I took my walk. The same way seasons change and life keeps going in different cycles. We are never, we've never arrived because life shows us that there's always something to learn. We are always evolving. The Alicia that you all have met, and I can pull those videos up. When I was an undergrad, it's so different today. But all of that helped me to get here. And the Alicia that you will meet in the next 10 years, I'll look at this video and be like, oh, she's cute, right? But life shows us that right when we think we've arrived somewhere, there's so much more ahead of us. There's still so much more to be learned. And so again, I challenge you to join me in being a day one expert. Um, may that encourage you and stir your gifts and the things that you do well that maybe you have fallen off on, maybe you have become uninspired in, maybe you still need to research because you don't have the tools and the skill set to show your mastery. But I pray that you will join me in being a day one expert so that you are forever working in your gifts and talents, mastering that craft, sharing it with the world because it is needed. Hear me when I say this. I know we say it, but what you have to offer, what is inside of you, the way you see things, it's like no one else. And I know I'm getting off topic, but just hear me out. I remember talking to a friend of mine and he was like, I see colors. And I'm like, I'm on the phone, like, help me. Help me understand. Ex paint the picture. Break it down. And I was so fascinated by the way he was like, you don't see gray? You don't see green when you think of this? I'm like, no, no. Like, I understand the mood and the color that you might associate with something. But like, he was seeing colors for things that I'm just like, no. But just think about that gift. And that perception that he has, that viewpoint, how if he chooses to just put it away, put it on the shelf, we need that. We we need that. We need that. Okay? We, we need what you have. So I hope you will join me in just getting it going, whatever your it is. And I also hope that you will join me on my vlogging journey. I am so excited. I'm gonna be honest. I'm still busy. I'm a busy lady all the time. But I'm excited to find time for this because I do enjoy this right here. I'm excited to interact with you all. I'm excited to meet new subscribers. And I'm excited to just, you know, put my little sprinkle of magical dust into the world, um, if for no one else, for myself. Okay, so thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Again, if you are a new viewer, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Comment below. Say hello. Let me know that you've watched this video. Let me know that you're joining me on the day one. Experts, let me know what you need to get back on the bandwagon about. Say whatever you want below. I love you all and I will see you tomorrow. Happy November. Bye.